This is my favorite camera that I've ever used. It's small, it looks really cool, but most importantly, the photos that it takes look like they were shot on film. This is the X100V from Fujifilm. I've never shot on film before. This might be an instant disqualification for some of you watching this video, and that's okay. I'll do you one better. I don't even really consider myself to be a photographer. I'm a video guy first and foremost. That's what I'm best at and what I mostly get paid for. I do semi-regularly get paid to take photos, but it's mostly corporate stuff that anyone who knows their way around a camera could do with their eyes shut. One thing I've been able to pin down though about photography is that I like the look of photos shot on film. Now, I know that it's not just about the film stock. There's a deliberation and care that comes with shooting on a physical medium and a certain amount of craftsmanship required just to produce an image at all. There's an investment of time and attention that comes with being a good photographer on film and digital formats. I say all this because there are a lot of shortcuts out there for getting the film look or whatnot. Some of them might be valid, others not so much. Anyway, back to the X100V and the cats here. So you probably already know about Fujifilm's film emulations. You select a film emulation or customize one of them, take a photo, and a JPEG is saved that looks like it was shot on film. Why would you shoot JPEG instead of RAW? The answer to that is because these JPEGs kick ass. They look better than RAW. I can't get the RAW files to look as good as the JPEGs. That's amazing. But as good as this is, I am still limited to this camera with its fixed lens. What if I could apply film emulations to RAW files? What if I could blend the flexibility of shooting RAW digitally with the style of shooting on analog film? So that's where Dehancer comes in. Full disclosure, Dehancer has provided this plugin to me for free in exchange for a review. They have also provided an affiliate promo code. If you decide you want to buy the plugin, you get 10% off and I get a cut of any purchases if you use the code BNEG. That said, I do have problems with this plugin and I will be talking about them in this video. I'm not sending this video to them to review it before it's published. And I'll be honest, I'm ignoring some of their talking points that they asked me to hit. So let's get into what this is all about. I'm using the photo plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. It's also available for Affinity and Capture One if that's your workflow. And by the way, if that is your workflow, props to you for not being in the Adobe ecosystem. I wish I could be more like you. So regardless of which program you use, Dehancer operates as a standalone editor that has many film profiles and controls for emulating analog film with your digital photos. Like I said earlier, I haven't shot with film before, so I don't have a lot of familiarity with all of these film stocks. Something I like about Dehancer though, is that I really do get the sense that a lot of time, effort, and science went into properly recreating these film stocks and development processes. It feels like the right amount of work on my end too. It's not just some filter that I slap on top of Lightroom adjustments. You're actually getting in there and adjusting black and white points, print paper, and lots of other controls. Dehancer recommends prepping your raw files to get a flat image before sending it off to the lab, which is something that clicked for me as a video guy. Basically, Dehancer recommends reducing the contrast and bringing up the blacks so no information is lost in the development process. This feels similar to shooting in a log profile for video in order to preserve dynamic range. Once you have your file prepped, you can open it in the Dehancer photo editor. You can choose from presets the Dehancer team has put together or go through film profiles on your own. I've been enjoying exploring these film stocks one by one to get a feel for the characteristics each of them brings to the images. Dehancer has emulated 63 film stocks, which is a lot, and it doesn't stop there. Once you select a film profile, Dehancer recommends adjusting the expand controls for exposure and returning to them throughout the rest of the development process. 
then I start playing the controls off of each other to get a result that I'm happy with. I'll get into the print settings, seeing what effects I can get with different paper emulations, and of course, film grain, halation, and bloom. So here's some things I like. I really like the balance of a proper workflow with space for creativity and experimentation in this plugin. It feels like there are solid guide rails that you can reliably follow to get good results every time, but there's also space for you to go nuts on the sliders and come up with wild results if you want. I think this pocket is ultimately what sold me on the plugin in addition to the possibilities that has opened up for me. Using this plugin has allowed me to revisit old photos and edit them to be better than before. It has been fun to go through old pictures and edit them with these tools now. I was always chasing a film look in the past, but never was getting much good at getting satisfying edits in Lightroom or Photoshop. I honestly kind of think that this plugin might make me a better photographer because now I know I can get good results. It's not all sunshine and roses though. I do have a few complaints. Chief among my complaints is that the editing workflow is destructive. Even if you open the file in Photoshop as a smart object and apply Dehancer as a smart plugin, you can't then reopen the plugin and edit your settings later. It's still destructive and that's really unfortunate because I was kind of hoping that this smart object functionality would allow me to do exactly what I've described, go in later and adjust settings if I want to make slight adjustments later on. No, you kind of have to start from scratch. So I'm not really sure what the benefit is in opening it in Photoshop over Lightroom. Might as well just send it straight to the plugin. So I did have some other complaints about the plugin and one was that when I opened up photos that I took with my Sony T7 III, it wouldn't load the scopes in the plugin. Another was that the batch editing features weren't working in the plugin, but actually over the course of editing this video, it turns out that they released the 2.4.0 update and uh, all of those problems disappeared. So I'm gonna consider that a plus for the app. It's really cool that they fixed the problems with the app and now it works. So there's also a Dehancer iOS app. Phone photography, just isn't for me. I'm terrible at it. I do recognize that phones can be a legitimate artistic tool. So if you're a phone photographer, you should know that there's a Dehancer iOS app as well. It seems to do a good enough job. Here are a few examples. Keep in mind, I just don't really like taking photos on my phone, so I don't know. The iOS app will also let you import video, so you can apply the filters or the effects or however you want to call it to the videos on your camera roll. And so here's an example. This clip is filmed on my phone, and so you can see what it looks like. What do you think? Does it look good? All right, so back to the real one, the desktop Dehancer app. So I'm not looking at this plugin as a shortcut to a trendy film look. I don't want that. I'm using it to help me close the gap between where my photos are and where I want them to be. I think that for the most part, it does a good job of getting me there. It's a thoughtfully constructed, well-researched piece of software. I feel like it fills a gap in my workflow and gets me the results that I've wanted for a long time. Would I pay $200 for it though? I probably wouldn't, but that's because I'm a filmmaker, not a photographer. It's not that big of a deal if my photos aren't quite at the level where I'd like them to be. With all that being said, now that I have the Dehancer plugin, I'm way more excited about photography. So that's gotta be worth something. Thanks for watching.